Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another G1 Transformers review. As you can see, I'm doing another MicroMaster base, and this is Skystalker. Well, this isn't Skystalker. This actually is Skystalker's shuttle base. Um, Skystalker himself is the small orange car. Now, I find it a little bit weird that they didn't sort of call this, you know, a space battle base or something like that. But to actually refer to it as a character name when this actually isn't Skystalker, when it's just that little car is, is a little bit weird. And I'd imagine most people got a bit misled that that's Skystalker. Anyway, as you can see, sort of nice G1 style box. Uh, nice photograph of the actual toy on that side. With the usual sort of fantastic G1 style artwork on that side I'll uh, bring it in so you can have a little bit better look at it and that's obviously what he's going to turn into well he's not going to turn into and that's where you get the confusion it, that's the base the base is going to turn into that uh, you get photographs on top as well on the ends and underneath and on the back of the box you get nice cartoon style that's sort of like battle scene with Skystalker attacking Countdown which is the Autobot equivalent of Skystalker um, I will do a review on him as well I've got him as well um, both really good figures um, anyway getting back to Skystalker himself there's a nice picture of him the actual MicroMaster himself with his little motto and if I can get it into shot and close enough for you I'll do the obligatory bit so you can read up on his information. Let's see, I think I've got that steady enough for you. Um, and obviously you get the latest style text spec, which is the block type rather than the red bit of plastic type. A um, little bit easier to read and you don't end up with a load of clear bits of red plastic hanging around. Um, but yeah, pretty nice G1 box. Um, I always think in, in a sense they're almost a collectible in themselves um, and you know I'd, I'd be sort of like more inclined to hang on to the packaging I mean I tend to anyway but as you can no doubt tell by my collection but um, like with the modern stuff it's just like plastic bubbles really with a little tiny bit of detailing on some card stuck in it whereas I did find that the G1 style sort of boxes and that they gave a little bit more of an actual um, collectible in themselves, just the packaging, and also they're better to store the, the toy in if you're putting it away because you've actually got a box to put it in, and it's a little bit difficult to put things back into bubble packaging, you know, um, and also they don't obviously stack and that as well. But uh, anyway, that's his box, and not really what you're here to look at. You're here to look at this, which is not Skystalker, it is his space shuttle. Now, it's a great um, space, well, shuttle mode, it's a great ship, um, quite a nice size, I can't remember how much he cost originally now, but uh, he's quite hard to pick up complete, and I'll explain the bits what you often find missing. Um, he comes with two smaller double sort of barreled cannon which are all detachable and you can move around as you see fit um, and like two larger triple ones and one really big double barreled cannon on the top um, they're sort of like variable in sort of like rarity these main ones are quite easy to pick up if you're missing any bits the big one again is quite common but the actual connector for the big one is the rare part um, if you're trying to sort of complete a figure well again it's not a figure it's a base um, the other real thing to look out for on this base itself is the right wings the right wings for whatever reason have a real tendency for these joints to break so to get one of these complete 
takes a bit of doing. Um, you often find them there missing wings and you think, oh well, I'll pick up a spare wing. To find a right wing is a nightmare. Um, they really are sort of like, like hen's teeth. Uh, the same goes for that gun connector and I will show you that as well in a bit of detail so if you ever come across one you know what it is. But anyway, this is the shuttle mode of Skystalker's shell uh, and base. It's obviously a twin shuttle, you can detach the top one so they become two ships. Both will hold a MicroMaster inside. This front section of the smaller jet splits open and you can sit one inside and the same goes for the cockpit of the main shuttle that the canopy opens and you can sit a figure inside there as well. Um, both really nice, both obviously going to be Decepticon, no, it was never going to be an Autobot uh, base. Um, and I also think quite reminiscent of the Dark of the Moon, sort of like, uh, almost like Mothership, what attacks the city in the film, um, especially with these side fins sticking out. Maybe they actually bothered to look at some toys from the old series, um, you know, before they did the filming this time. It's probably a, just a weird coincidence because I don't think Michael Bay ever watched the cartoon, but there you go. Um, but a lovely sort of um, space shuttle modes. I really do like this figure. I keep calling it a figure. It's a basement. It's just not a figure at all. Um, as for loose accessories, you get two grey ramps, which are double ended connectors. Um, sort of unique to this base as well, I think. Um, again, they're quite easy to pick up. They're not too bad if you need to find them. Uh, and obviously, the man himself, which is the little orange car. Now, this is Skystalker. Um, really nice little MicroMaster, a little Porsche, which is, you know, a little bit different. I only think they ever reissued him as a later model MicroMaster in the Japanese line with one of the other bases, what they brought out. Um, but they gave him some sticker detailing, which is, again, is a bit of a rarity on some of the MicroMaster line. Transformation is the usual simplicity itself. Flip back of the car around, flip his bonnet over, and that's him done, really. He has got movable arms, but not a lot to him. Obviously, he's a MicroMaster. I'll bring him in so you can see the detailing on him. I do pick his face out in a little bit of sort of goldy yellow colour. But yeah, not a bad little figure in himself. But that's actually Skystalker. And I've got to try and remember that as I do this review because I'll probably refer to the base as a figure or something again at some point. But that's where I think, you know, they shouldn't have pulled the package in that. It just confuses everybody. And especially me, as I'm getting older, I think I'm going a bit senile. Um, anyway. Right, to transform it into base mode is a little bit sort of jiggery-pokery with it, so you have to bear with me. Um, to start with, let's try and think the best way to do it. Push down on these side grey parts on both sides at the same time works best. And swing the back section out of the way. And we'll leave that there for a minute. You can then flip this grey section round and over. You then need to, well really I suppose you could turn it over now and let that back section fold down and clip into place and then it doesn't flap around there. And you just need to then fold, and maybe I should have Actually, I should have left that grey section around a bit. You get the wing over the top and fold those up out of the way. Then just sort of bring that round. It's better to do it that way. My mistake. This years of since I've had to transform it. Um, he does have a blue ramp. What you need to fold out and down, and that effectively is more or less that end of the base done. Um, there are a couple of wheels underneath which are his undercoat you need to flip in as well at that point to lay him down. 
Um, you see what I mean with the right wings a little bit floppier, and that's because of that dodgy connector. Something to watch if you're ever getting one, like I say. Anyway, that's that section of it done. You need to then turn this section onto its side, and you'll see the blue section here. I maybe shut that out of the way. Turn that there. That needs to fold right round and over. Now at this point you need to take off what was the right hand gun of the shuttle at the front and that can be pegged I'll turn that and that needs to be pegged onto that blue section. I'll leave that wing down for now because it's going to drive me nuts. Um, you then need to push down on the front section so that it sort of moves down and then you can turn it round and out like so and obviously this bit then acts like a foot for that to stand up now bringing that back around there's a little tab here if you need to get your nail into and you've got another little platform that falls out down like so I'll get that wing up now so that should be okay now and that's basically the bottom half of the base transformed. Now you showing you now why it's a little bit easier to get to and to see. These ramps connect on each side. Like so and because they're double ended you can connect on any of the other MicroMaster bases as all these uh, ramps are the same size so effectively you can sit your build with it. Um, and while it's in this mode, while well, I can sort of get to it a little bit easier as well, you can put figures into that position there to use that gun. Obviously, they can stand on there, and you get quite a nice little sort of bit of base de detailing inside that area there. Even a little sticker application on the floor of that area. I'll try and bring that in to show you why you can actually see into it. Try and pick it out with the light. It's quite nice. It's you know it's a little bit more effort that they did some internal sort of moulding details and there's the sticker down there on the floor and they did some sort of moulding details inside again like floor panelling and that of the base. Now as I say, that's the basic bottom half of the base done. Um, now you get to the smaller shuttle. Now obviously you could still use that with just the smaller shuttle. But it also incorporates into the base as well. So first of all you need to take off the double barrel gun. Now I'll show you the clip what uh, comes off of this. And that's it there. Now that's quite a rare part to find. Um, when you're buying one of these, you, you know, if, if somebody's saying it's complete, it has to have that part because you will really struggle to try and find one. Um, as I say, they're like hen's teeth. I think I've only come across a couple of them on the internet over the last few years. Um, and I mean, I tend to look quite a bit. So if that bit's missing, you're going to struggle to complete the base. And you probably, unless somebody really knows what it is, you're going to pay a few good few quid to get that bit as well. Uh, anyway, so that's how you need to change the gun to, moving that peg round from that position when he was on the shuttle. And it clips positions as it turns, but you need to have it sort of something like that. And just leave that to one side again for a second. Now with the shuttle itself, you split the front open as though you were going to put a figure inside, but you move these side panels right the way round to the back. You then turn it over and flip out these black parts and they flip completely down like so. And again these are another delicate part and they are handed as well. If you ever need one of these, you've got to make sure you get the right one. Um, as you can see, they're handed 
on here but they need to connect it correctly at the top so they're not I don't believe they're ambidextrous um, no they're not because the way it clips on if I can get that out for you is a side clip like that I'll show you on a light part and that obviously needs to be the right way round for where it's offset at the bottom so they are handed so if you're picking any of them parts up again bear that in mind when you're buying them anyway let's get that put back on that's it um, again obviously look for damage on the fine clips if I can try and get them on the lighter colour there you go because obviously they're quite delicate as well now with it in this position and there goes one of the side panels um, with it in this position you then need to attach these sections onto the area where the guns are mounted on the front of the ship and this is the delicate part you just need to push down gently and they just slide in and clip and that creates an upper sort of gun platform and then you peg in the gun onto one of the connection holes from where the little shuttle was connected to the main body of the big shuttle and that's him done um, obviously you can put sky stalker in the top to command his base and obviously firing the main guns um, I've got one of the other little micronasters I picked up the other day um, to hand and you can as I say you can sort of position them all round inside different places and that obviously using the ramps if you want to freewheel them down um, but yeah it's a pretty good base former it incorporates well with the other uh, smaller micromaster bases as I say because you can join them all together and obviously that gives a bit more play value because you can make a larger and larger and larger base the more of them you've got um, I think that's pretty much covered him um, as I say you've got to watch out for the usual thing because it's light coloured plastic you've got to watch out for sun fading and I have seen examples where even the blue plastic has sun faded to almost a greeny colour so again that's something to bear in mind if you're picking one up but I think I've gone over the main places where you're going to get wear and tear and weaknesses the wing is the worst and the gun clip is the rarest sort of bit to pick up the wing and the, that clip um, it's one I'd recommend though obviously you don't want to pay the earth for it it's um, not that major sort of character that you're going to miss it in your collection if you haven't got it unless you're a real completist um, but yeah if you can pick it up for a reasonable amount I mean if you can find a mint in box I mean I, you know as long as it's not not trying to chop your arm off to buy it it's uh, it is well worth picking up if you can get a really minty one um, but yeah I don't think there's anything else you need to know such so yeah that's pretty much Skystalker's review over with uh, hope you've enjoyed the review hope it's sort of been a bit informative for you and it's one of the although common enough to see the main bodies of this sort of ship for sale it's not that common to be able to pick one up complete so I hope I've sort of shown anyone who's looking at getting one what you need to sort of be looking for if you do want to get one okay well I hope you've enjoyed that review um, please feel free as ever to subscribe uh, feel free again obviously to comment ask any questions and I'll try and help if I can and again if there's anything particular you'd like review again feel free to drop me a line if I've got it I shall see if I can dig it out and do a review for you um, I don't know exactly when because it's all like as I get the time and as obviously the mood takes me but uh, yeah I think that's it so I hope you enjoyed the review and I shall see you again for another Transformers review <laughs>